At Brindisi, on the eastern coast of Italy, there still stands a single Roman column. It is one of two placed there more than 2,000 years ago to mark the terminus of the most celebrated road in history, the Appian Way. This road runs for more than 500 miles from the Adriatic all the way across Italy to the Turanian Sea. It was laid down by the Romans to connect Brundisium, then an outpost of the empire with Rome the empire's capital. To follow it from end to end is to see, as if in cross-section, the Italy of today and of yesterday. The Italy of today needs land from which to feed its hungry population. And along the border between Apulia and Lucania, a big land reclamation project is going forward. This is only one of many such projects all over the peninsula. Millions of dollars in Marshall Plan counterpart funds are being used to finance these works. For Italy's economic salvation partly depends upon restoring to productivity vast areas of worn out and abandoned land. In Lucania, the next province beyond Apulia, men are at work quarrying the soft volcanic tufa to use as building material. The workmen are sure and skillful, for theirs is a craft as old as civilization, and it has been handed down for generations from father to son. to hills, and hills to bare and stony mountains. High up in these mountains, back from the Appian Way, lie many isolated and primitive villages like Matera. Here, the people found shelter not by building, but by boring patiently into the solid rock around them, foot by foot, year by year, century by century. Remote from the world below, such villages have clung to the primitive pattern of living set by distant generations. But before long, their lives will change. Roads are being built with Marshall Plan funds to give the villagers easier access to the Appian Way and their centuries of isolation will come to an end. Already, the process of change has begun. New homes are being built to enable the villagers to come out of their dark, unhealthy caves and live in the air and sunlight. of the Adriatic, across the Apennines to the Turanian coast, the work of rebuilding goes on. For this road, like so many of Italy, suffered terrible damage during the war. Every bridge from end to end of the road was destroyed, and the work of replacing each with a solid, permanent structure is still being carried on. For this task, and for all the countless other urgent projects planned for the Appian Way, more than 25 and one half million dollars in Marshall Plan counterpart funds have been allocated. To the people living along the road, all this reconstruction has meant much needed work, ranging all the way from driving trucks to gathering gravel from riverbeds to make cement. of the Apennine Mountains, the Appian Way crosses the Volturno River. To cross the stream during the war, 
thousands of Americans once gave their lives. Today, it flows in peace on its undisputed way to the sea, and over it moves the heavy-laden traffic of a reviving nation. Campania to the north, history takes shape and substance in the stones of Imperial Rome. Empires fall and civilizations die, but along the road the continuity of life remains unbroken. Since the world was young, hill towns like Itri have existed and will exist. Wars pass over them, but they survive, while the weapons which all but destroy them are left to rust because they are not even worth removing the scrap. All along the Appian Way below Rome, village after village wrecked during the war is being rebuilt. Caserta, Capua and Vitri, Terracina, Cisterna, Albano and many others whose names are known to American fighting men. Out of the stones of ruined houses, new homes are being built. Hundreds of thousands of Marshall Plan dollars have been set aside for this work. skirts of Rome, the Appian Way meets the big Ciampino Airport, one of the busiest and most important air terminals in all Europe. The work of enlarging and improving it has gone on almost continuously since the end of the war. Every day, planes en route to and from all the far places of the earth fly over the ancient road, already remote in antiquity, when Christ was born. and 30 miles from Brindisi, at the ancient Porta Latina, the Appian Way enters Rome. Here is where the road 
began. And here began the history of Italy, a history of grandeur and decay and rebirth, repeated in cycles, a history which will end only with the human race.